Vegetable gyoza, we created a dish because we want to have more vegetarian dishes on the menu. We feel that's the way forward. It's a slight combination between a Peruvian chili and Japanese uh, gyozas. It's a very simple dish, but still um, the end product, the way it is, looks really, really good. So making of the kabucha puree, basically all we do is we peel the pumpkin, cook it in uh, some boiling water with a cinnamon stick and a slice of orange. The kabucha puree, will, the kabucha pumpkin will take on a little bit of the flavor of the cinnamon stick and the orange. After that, we drain it, make sure that all the water is drained out before we blitz it up and we add a bit of butter and a bit of salt for, for extra flavor. So after it's come out of the wok, we have the mix right here. Now we're going to put it into the gyoza. This is how we're going to do it. And you twist it and you stick it together. The whole idea about the gyoza is just wrapping it up so that no liquid can escape. So when you steam it and when you cook it, the first bite that goes into your mouth is the bite with that's got all the juices in it, it's got all the flavor in it, and, and, and nothing has escaped. So that's the only trick when it comes to gyoza. Make sure it's 100% closed, 100% sealed, and it doesn't really matter what shape you make. So there you go, a vegetarian gyoza with kabucha puree and ajamrelo sauce.